Assalamu alaikum. We have posted several videos on SCF calculation using different potential. We also have posted videos on the band structure calculation and DOS and PDOS calculations. But when you do the SCF calculation with the hybrid potential, the DOS and band structure calculation is different than the usual procedure. So today we will show how to do the SCF calculation with uh, hybrid potential which is YSPV0 that is similar to HSE06 that is used in different uh, TFT calculation packages and then we will show the DOS, PDOS and band structure calculations where we will use the results that is uh, the SCF calculation results produced with this potential. So let us start. The system that I am going to use is nickel oxide. So this is the system. I will do the usual calculation first with the PB potential. Then I will use the hybrid calculation. So let me initialize this. Now let's go to the. I will run the SCF file. Sorry, SCF calculation. So this is PB. This will be quick. Okay, SF converts. Now to initialize the hybrid calculation, I need to run this init HF LAPW. Now here you can see we have a total 17 bands and the up to 12. So this is you need to note that to 12 bands are filled or partially filled from 13 it's empty. So what it says that I need to edit this one and I want I need to have the end band value which will be greater than the occupied uh, values. So occupied is up to 12. So I will use something, let's say 15. So let me choose 15. Now with this uh, setting, if you use all these values, the default values, and the potential will be this one. But remember that uh, you need to also check what is in the other input files because this is related to the other input files. And the uh, input files are in zero. Let me show you. So I'm in test directory, as you can see from here. I n zero. So we need to have this one. If you don't edit this one uh, after PB calculation, this will be the usual value. And also you need to see check this one. So in this uh, in zero underscore zrr you should have these values. So if you don't edit them after SCF calculation with PB potential, they will be the same value. But if you edit them, if you do the calculation with other potentials, then want to come back here, make sure you change these values like this. You can read the details about this in the user guide. So if you go to the section unscreened and screened hybrid functional, you will get all the details. Okay, so with this, Let's save it. Now I need to generate the uh, new Calist. So if you don't uh, want to reduce Calist, you will use the same value here. But I will use the reduced Calist since the total uh, hybrid potential calculation is really expensive. That is 10 to 100 times expensive than the PB calculation. So I will run this one. So I'm using 222, that is the reduced Calist. Um, okay, now I'm ready to run the SCF calculation. So I'll choose this one. Now, uh, since I have it's, I'm using reduced calist, I will select this one. But if you do want to do the calculation with the full hybrid potential without a reduced calist, you will select this one. Okay, now let's run the SCF calculation. So it will take time. Let me pause the recording. When it finishes, I will come back. Okay, the SF calculation has finished. It has converts. So let's go to the DOS calculations. Uh, one more thing. If you want to save the results, you can use the save LAPW script, but uh, use um, the nodel flag. Because if you do not use the nodel flag, 
then it will delete the uh, vector files but we will need for the dos and the pdos calculation the vector file so uh, you need to use this no del flag so you may choose a folder name also with minus d flag say hse06 then if you say click save it will save all the results in this folder and it will not delete any file from the current directory okay let's go to the dos calculation okay in usual dos calculation we change uh, we did this file and then generate a denser k mesh then uh, run the LF lapw but for since we are using the hybrid potential we will not uh, run this thing but we will run this one but uh, this time in the terminal with an extra flag so i will run this x lapw2 minus qtl this is the usual command that we have but since i did the hybrid calculations i will use and i have used the reduced k list flag so i will use the k list if you are doing only the uh, total hybrid calculation without the reduced k list you will use minus hf so now i need to generate the init file so i'll click here so if you want to edit the ranges, you can change this value. There is the X range of the DOS plot. Since this is tutorial purpose, I will keep the usual one. We need to keep these things in mind. So I'll leave this now as it is. So I will run the script that is available in, my, in the script section here the, to calculate DOS and PDOS. Actually, in this uh, previous two videos, these two i have used the same script but this script can also handle the hcf uh, hybrid calculation but in that case we need to use an additional argument so let's do that so i have saved the script in the win2k folder if you need to uh, review or know how to use the external script you can watch this video so the script name is DOS. So this is the same script, but I will use HF as a first argument. So now it asks me for the confirmation whether I want to use the hybrid calculation or not. Since I I did the calculation in hybrid position, I will just press enter. Now it gives me the option to choice from the atom one, atom two, or zero to calculate the total contribution of uh, all um, the atoms. So I will use zero now. So this is the calculation of DOS and PDOS. Here you can see this is the, the first one is the total, con, uh, that is the DOS. And these are the partial DOS. So for the nickel contribution and oxygen contribution. This is actually only the DOS plot without uh, showing the contributions. Now I'll run the same uh, script so that I can get the results for the atom one. So now let me choose atom one now. Here it asks for the orbitals. So in this time, I need to uh, see what uh, are the available orbitals from here. And I can choose up to five orbitals. But uh, I don't need to include the total one because this will be included automatically. So let me, so I have chosen one, a nickel. So let me choose uh, this uh, one, two, three, four, five orbitals. So I'll type P, D, D, E, G, D, T, T, G, and F. So it asks for the confirmation. As you can see, atom 1 is selected and the total contribution is automatically included. I'll say yes. So this is the calculation for the nickel. And it shows the all the contributions of different orbitals. And this is only showing the nickel comparing with the total uh, one that is the dos so you can do the same for atom 2 and atom 3 all the results are saved in the results.dos folder uh, which i have explained in the previous video so now let's move on to the band structure calculation for this i will click here on the band structure calculation i need to generate the k list underscore band so I'll use the template that is saved in the Win2K. But if you want to generate uh, your customized uh, K-list band, you can use XKristen. 
in the video number six here the band uh, structure calculation i have explained how you can use x crystal to generate the customized bands so now since i have generated the calist band i need to run this command hflfew let me show you the options here so it says that since i have used uh, reduced calist i need to use reduced calist plug then i have to use the spaghetti so let me do that So the calculation will take a little bit of time. Let me pause the recording again. When the calculation finishes, I will come back. Okay, the this calculation is finished. So uh, then now I need to run spaghetti. Before I go to that, I need to edit this file. So I have to use this uh, value of the Fermi energy here. And let me also change the range from minus 10 to 10 so I will save the file now I can run the spaghetti spaghetti okay the calculation is finished so you can uh, click here plot band structure this is the band structure uh, the structure is also saved in ps file so So this is the file, spaghetti ps. Let me show you. So here is the band structure plot. And this is saved in EPS file. These results are also saved in the AGR. You can use that one also, AGR format. So if you select this, so this is the also you can customize if you want here, uh, change different things like this one, and the save again for uh, as you like. Okay, uh, so I have shown you how to calculate the SF how to do the SF calculation with a hybrid potential. Do the DOS and uh, PDOS calculation that uh, using these re results of SCF calculation and also the band structure calculation. I hope this will be helpful. Thank you.